Hello guys, this is Riley69501, welcome to my channel. The comic book that I'm going to display is, was published back in 1994, and that's Ghost Rider number 50. Look at this cover. Nice, huh? So I'm going to show you the back cover. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see that. Check that out. Nice, huh? Look at that. Oh, I don't know this here. Okay. Well, welcome to my inbox number four, which in one of my videos I think I mentioned that I had like one more video to finish on my comic books. I was wrong. I still, after this one, I think I got another video to, because I haven't finished reading all the, all the issues, you know, between work, stuff to do. I mean, I do different stuff besides reading comics. I do hang out time, you know, a little bit of everything. Ah, okay, I'm going to start with... Action Comics number eight. Oh boy. Well, before I read this one, I start reading from issue number four, five, six. And seven. Although issue number seven came on my unboxing. Uh, I still don't don't get the feel of of Superman. And I really like Superman. But I don't see Superman here. Yes, I see the name of it. And I see him on the cover and the page on the inside, but the Superman that I knew is not here yet. That's an alright. Uh, I don't know. I guess I got two more issues. I think I'm gonna be reading Action Comics till issue number number ten, and then yeah, because my last order, I the order. Action Comics number 12. So I already dropped Action Comics. Maybe maybe the next story arc or a couple of months, then we see. But no, it's not the Superman that I knew. You know, I know this is a new universe, you have to give him time to build up, but the things, I mean, hasn't built up yet. This uh, story wise is not that bad, but it's not that good either. Just, just there. Something to read. I mean, you get bored. No, I don't know. I'm going to read Action Comics. That's what it is. Unless uh, they change something here. And what did, and the thing that did that they did with a Brainiac. Look at that. Since when, since when Brainiac looks like a shrimp? Look at that. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, so it was okay. He just okay story. Just there. Uh, okay. The next one is. Uh, Flash number seven and number eight. 
I have to say that the story about Captain Cole and Turbine, it was good. I really enjoyed reading Flash. It's good. And the art is I can. Uh, I'm not going to review too much about it because there are so many videos out there about Flash that I mean what I do is just I give you my opinion what I, what I think about about the story ones and I have to say that Flash is getting better issue by issue oh yeah it's been good and I think it's going to get better with this because the end on issue number 8 uh, I think Flash end up in Monkey Town I mean Gorilla City ok Which issue number 9 is going to be fun it's going to be, it's going to be fun to me so can wait for issue number nine. Uh, so if you're not reading Flash, you will get the first trade because from issue number one, what they're doing—I mean, the, if you're not reading Flash, what they're doing is that they tells you the different powers that Flash has and is planning to, and the consequences from specific power that Flash has. Like when when he when he runs to certain speed like he opens like a like a vortex and end up art arting the timeline. So he have so he created like a like a little computer chip or whatever that kind of like a when he gets to, to certain speed then the little gadget will tell him slow down otherwise you're going to go into the danger zone which is the vortex I think it's called I mean I call it vortex that's another name but I don't know I don't remember at this moment but the story with the Captain Cole it was good it was good it was, I really enjoyed it and with Turbine, it was fun. And I love the cover. Look at the cover. So, if you're not really flash, eh, you know, buy the first trade. Give it a try. Or you know somebody that has it. You know. See if you can if they, if they will lend it to you. Next one is Superman number 8. Still have Superman. I can I have Superman number 7 here somewhere? Uh, no, well, can you see? Nope. No. Well, my last unboxing, I have read issue number seven and number eight. And it was good. Dan Jurgens, he's always been good in Superman. Not the Superman that I used to back in the 90s but was a lot better than action comics a lot better story wise here I see on, on this issue since, uh, since Dan German took over I see a uh, little bit of Superman the one I remember so it's been slow you know we'll see how this story goes this is about Demonite. So maybe there's going to be a crossover between Superman and Stormwatch. So we see. But Superman, it's been okay. The, this one was a little bit better. So we see what happens on issue number nine. Next one is uh, Green Lanterns, the New Guardians. Here's number eight. I think I've done number 7 here somewhere No, I misplaced it Well, anyway, on my last 
Boxing are very rare. Yeah, I forgot. Issue number seven and number eight. And I have to say that finally, finally, the team is starting to work together. Not as a team, working together, which is good. It took them six, uh, seven issues to be able to put all those different Green Lanterns together to work together. Because uh, they are, I mean, the team is about seven different Green Lanterns from all different colors. And two of those Lanterns didn't like each other. So, okay, so there's a conflict between team, which is fun. You know, it's, uh, it gives you something fresh on the, on the story. And the art, I love the art. The art is so I can look at that cover. Well, this is why I show you, I show you the pages, the pages on the inside. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. See the page. I mean, the art is so nice. So, 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 so nice. Look at this one here. It's top fire. And look at this page over there. Look at this one here. And the last page. So the story, this uh, issue number seven, number eight, they were good stories. It was good. Like I said before, the team finally is getting together, working together. They're starting to get along each other. And I have to say, it's been good, slow, but steady. Nothing fancy, just, just taking its course. And I really like it. I'm going to keep on reading, can't wait for issue number 9 and number 10. Can't wait for that. And like I said, the art is great. Well, I'll show you. So you're not reading Green Lanterns, The New Guardians. I mean, and you want to read it. If you don't like space stories, that's the uh, adventures out of space, you're, you're not going to like it. You really have to like space stories, different races, aliens, stuff all like that. And if you want to get on board from reading Green Lanterns, the new volumes, well, you can pick up the first trade, give it a try. You know, you can find the single issues a lot better. But overall, it's good. It's, I'm really enjoying, really enjoy reading that that series. Very, it's a good reading. Yeah, I still have a, I still have the mess over here. Oh, the last one is. Oh yes, hey yes. Wonder Woman number seven and number eight. Whoa, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. The story is getting better and better and better it's like I can't have, I, it's like I don't get enough of Wonder Woman I want to read more I mean I just uh, I can't I mean I can't wait to get issue number 9 to get to have issue number 9 on my hand so I can read it because the story so far has been so good you get to find out a lot about in issue number 6 
in Bihiso, issue number six and seven, tells you about the little bit backstory of the Amazon Island. And here issue number eight, Wonder Woman, she gets shot. Yes, she gets shot. With her own gun. <laughs> The little guy with the candle head, forgot his name, he shot Wonder Woman. And obviously Wonder Woman wants to dodge the bullet using her, her magic wrist or whatever, your, whatever it's called. But the thing is that the bullet goes through her, through her wrist and through her armor. And she just lies on the floor, bleeding. I'm not kidding. I let me say I could find the picture where she gets shot. Here it is. Okay. At this page over here. You see? She gets shot. Okay. And the art is great. And the kid that was telling you about the candle the candle head kid is this one. I forgot his name, he has, such a, he, he has like a stupid name. Uh, let me see if I can find a, a big picture of the candle, candle head here. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see if I can find it here. Yeah, here it is. Yep. This one here, the Thunderhead Kid. I call it Double. It has a specific name, but I don't remember. And the artist, and the artist, great. The artist really good. Fifth Chan. His, I like his style of art. Look at that. So, initial number seven, number eight. You get to find out a little bit, a lot more about uh, You get to find out that the Amazons They don't <coughs> They don't born by divine By the power of divine because they are special, they just Come from the earth, uh, no <coughs> They they are born just like a regular human being. They need a mate. They mate, they get pregnant, then they have a child. The thing is that the woman from the Amazons, time to time, they leave the island and they kind of like, they act like pirates. Kind of like they, I don't know if you can call it hijack a boat or mission, merchant ship. The thing is that they bulk yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's the correct word. And they go into the ship and they get away with all the men. They do the thing, they have fun. And once that everybody's done doing what they're supposed to do, they take all the men from the ship and toss them overboard. I know. Kind of cool. But they are Amazon, so that's why there's no men on the island. <laughs> so that's what they do. So once they return back to the island, nine months later, all those women that, that, that they went to that they all give birth to a child and the child that all the child that they're born that they're born to be females they keep it on the island now the ones that they're born as a boy they take those babies and toss them to the ocean well they used to do that until one of the boys, eons back, or many years, 
forgot his name, he's like a like the, the uh, blacksmith. So, uh, so what he does is that every year he goes to the island and he trades weapons for the male babies that they were going to toss overboard. So he, he takes the babies, the male babies, and trade it for weapons. So the blacksmith takes those babies and he raises them and uses them as not a slave, as, as helper on his workshop because his his workshop is like uh, some other parallel dimension because to go to his workshop you have, you have to go through a building and you open the door and just like a giant cave and all those people that is working with him they are all sons of the Amazon so Directly, he saved those men's life by trading weapons for the babies. So that's why he has the blacksmith has so many boys, so many people working with him. And Wonder Woman finds out finds out about how they reproduce, uh, how how they can be so many women. And there's no men around. So, so he tells the story to Wonder Woman, and which Wonder Woman she did she didn't know about that. So who knows? Maybe Wonder Woman has a brother between all those guys working with the blacksmith. Why not? Because although as far as we know, she only has one. Her mother has one child. But as far as I know, she doesn't have a sister. I think. If I'm wrong, correct me please. Uh, and that's it, you know I me, mean, the story is great. The story is good. It's getting better, better, better. So, if you like uh, Greek mythology, Amazons, uh, kick-ass woman with bad attitude towards men <laughs> and different adventure or different story with one woman you're gonna like it you're really gonna like it so if you're thinking about it if you're thinking about reading Wonder Woman bite the trade and you see that you might you're gonna like one of them. That is, if you like stories about gods, Greek mythology gods, and all that. So I still have a few more comic books to read. I still haven't read Animal Man and the other one. And Swamp Thing. I haven't read Anima Man, I haven't read yet Swamp Thing, and I haven't read yet uh, just like, uh, Red Lantern. I, have, I haven't finished reading those. And Stormwatch. And Resurrection Man. So I still have quite a few comic books to read. So but you know, I'm gonna read it. Gonna take my time reading it. Because I really like to enjoy reading my comic books. I like to take my time. And that's it guys. I hope that you like the video. Till next time. Bye.